Mississippi. Well, it rolls, it rolls. A son was born. Rob has come a long way from Boy Scouts and Junior High when I remembered him. He went on to become student body president at Cutbank High his senior year from the class of 1966. He started in basketball and his senior year helped the Wolves win the state championship. He also attended Boy State. Uh, I always felt that, uh, that, you know, to me lately, I think it's really important for me to become the voice of the prairie and that's, that's been a real goal of mine, to try to be a voice for this country and, and to uh, write songs about it and to create music that, that really reflects the spirit of this land. A history buff in Scouts, his Scout Leader is a project helped Rob and others as a project discover a remote area where Lewis had fought with some Indians near Cutbank. Hiked into the site, took a tree surgeon specialist with us to verify the three cottonwood trees and, uh, and discovered the fight site, which is now a national historic landmark. Because of his interest, Quist also hopes to play a big part in the celebration when the Lewis and Clark Interpretive Center is dedicated here in Great Falls. And Rob also stressed the importance of the white man listening to and studying the ways of the American Indian. I think what we need to do, though, is to, is to really learn a lot from the spirituality of, of the Indian people and incorporate that into our society so we can continue to grow. Helping to put Montana and Cutbank on the map with his singing and writing, Quist is focusing on performing concerts with symphony orchestras. He's also done some advertising jingle work for Amtrak and Levi Jeans. From the small town of Cutbank, Rob Quist truly is one of those people who have made a difference. Good job, Rob. Thank you.